It's Dieta Whitlock with this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. We're looking at how Canva can translate presentations, documents, newsletters, anything that you create or anything that you get as a template. We're going to be using a newsletter for our example today. Once you have your uh, item and you're ready to translate, you come over to the far left scroll down and find apps and in the search bar you're going to type in translate the different translate applications will populate and we're going to use this one and immediately it gives you a another menu and you select the language that you want to translate your English document to we're going to do Spanish first And the tone of voice is optional. I'm going to just leave it on original and scroll down. And I can translate the whole page. But if I want to do selected text from the current page, I would use this button. And you'll notice that it highlights everything. When I scroll down um, and uncheck select all, then I can just check those items that I might want to just translate. But for our purposes today, we're going to translate the whole page. Click Translate, and now you'll notice I have two pages. The first page is still in English, and the second page has now been translated into Spanish. If I have another language, I can go back to uh, the first page and select the next language, and then continue selecting the languages that my students' families speak. Once I've done all the translation that I need to, I'm going to click the share button and I'm going to download and in this case it wants to default to a PNG and you can use a picture if you'd like but if you have any kind of hyperlinks inside your newsletter you do need to use a PDF standard and then we're going to download both pages and since I want to put this on parent square as a post then I need to go to my Google Drive and upload that PDF. Once the PDF has been uploaded, I can now get a link. So I'm going to change my restricted to anyone with the link, copy the link, and now I'll go to my parent square. And here I just ask them to click the link. I'm going to highlight newsletter click this link to insert and paste my google link into that i'm going to click open in a new tab so when the parent or guardian receives the newsletter post then it will open up in a new tab for them and just say insert and we're going to go here and do a preview and this is what the parents will see when they receive the post. If you have any questions about how to use Canva to translate a document, a presentation, or a newsletter, please reach out to your team of instructional technology specialists.